try. Wow, neat. Give me a break. Barbarian, magician, thief, cavalier, and acrobat. Who was that? That was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. It must be 120 degrees in the shade, and there isn't any shade. You can say that again. With four suns up there, what do you guys expect? <laughs> I faced the same situation on safari once. I was lost. The sun was baking my brains. So that's what happened to your brains. Shh! Then what'd you do, Eric? Simple. Call Dad on the walkie-talkie and our gardener picked me up in the golf cart. In Africa? No, in my backyard. Listen, Dungeon Master told us to keep moving toward the setting suns, and that means this way. <laughs> Dungeon Master? We haven't seen that bozo for two days. I say we go any way we want to. Okay, wise guy. Which way shall we go? Huh? Oh. Well, I say we go. Uh, look! That's the biggest bug I've ever seen! You can say that again! There's no time! Run! Scorpion's catching up! A scorpion? A catching up? Faster? Sounds like trouble! <laughs> Carrots! Phew, that was a close one! <laughs> out here, no telling what you may run into. But who are you? They call me Sir John, official protector of the village of Pindrake, and battler of beasts, dragons, and demons! And scorpions! Did you hear what he said? No telling what we may run into. No telling? Ah, dungeon Master! Do you always have to do that? No, not always. Huh? I have found a possible way for you to get home, but it is very dangerous. What isn't dangerous around here? Go on, Dungeon Master. Far to the east, there is a sad and desolate land. It is known as the Valley of the Beholder. Yuck! It looks horrible! 
It wasn't always so. It was once the most beautiful valley in the realm. Until the Beholder came. What is a Beholder, anyway? The Beholder is a foul and evil beast who came up from the underworld and destroyed all things of beauty in the valley. Ooh, gross. I can't even see all of it and I can tell it's gross. It is the Beholder who guards the passageway to your birth world. You mean we have to meet this ugly guy? Not just meet him. You must defeat him. And remember, Sometimes, by looking back, you can see a clearer path through what lies ahead. Oh, brother, here he goes again. But beware, for only beauty can defeat the eye of the beholder. Aw, oh, give me a break. Well, he's gone! <laughs> what you doing, Bobby? What Dungeon Master said, trying to look backwards to see forward. <laughs> but all I see is the place where we met that night, Sir John. Yeah, well, sometimes Dungeon Master... Wait! That's it! <laughs> Sir John is in our past, but he may be the key to our future. That's right. Anybody brave enough to take on that scorpion ought to have an easy time with the Beholder. Great! For once, somebody else can fight the creepy slime that inhabits this world. He went this way! Well, let's find him. And so, Sir John, it is the decision of this council that a cowardly knight such as you offers this village no protection. But, sir, I... And it is our intention to hire a new and braver knight to replace you as soon as one can be found. Oh, Father, not again. There are no villages left for us to go to. Uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, sir, will you not uh, reconsider? I mean, my boy and I, it's just that we... Well, I suppose if you were to perform an act of extreme bravery, finally, we might consider letting you stay. Oh, he will, Mr. Mayor, he will. Yes, I, I will. I uh, be brave, that is. This is your last chance, Sir John. Your last chance! You can do it, Father. I know you can. Boy, I don't think I'll ever eat mushrooms again. I don't think you could eat these mushrooms, Eric. This place gives me goosebumps. Just stick together. Yeah, no telling what we might run into. What's that? I don't know, but it didn't sound friendly. For once, I agree with you, Uni. Presto! How about using your magic to throw a little light on the subject? Light? No problem. Piece of cake. <laughs> Ew! Who are they? Not who. What are they? Well, whatever they are, the light hurts their eyes. No? It's a... a chew! Oh, no. no! If it's light we need, it's light we'll get. Your 
friends. <gasps> what? Me? Go with you? Oh, that's impossible. You see, I have the, I have to perform a brave act. Accept this flower as a sign of our thanks. But I, uh, well, thank you for bestowing such a great honor on an old knight, my lady. Actually, Sir John, you saved us the trouble of coming to find you. Find me? What for? Well, we ah, uh, we we want you to take us to the beholder. Uh, the beholder? Th th that would require great bravery. That's why we want you, Sir John. Right. You're the bravest man we've met since we've been in this world. I, I am? Well, uh, of course, but... Uh, Great, then you'll do it. What? Uh, uh, well, uh, but first, I I'll have to go back and uh, uh, get my shield. Wait! Presto can conjure you up a shield. Uh, powers of magic that come with the dawn. Uh, make up a shield for Brave Sir John. Brother. Sorry. Here you go, Sir John. Your very own uh, shield. Well, I, I couldn't. That is, I mean, I... Thank you, but now will you take us to the Beholder? Please, Sir John. It's our only chance to get back to our world. What do you mean? Never mind. It's a long story. We'll, we'll tell you on the way. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, to the Beholder it is! <laughs> Beholder, indeed. I must be crazy. Nice beholder. Here, boy. Uh, Sir John. What? Oh, I, I mean, what is it, my boy? Don't you think we should have a plan? Uh, a plan? Uh, well, yes. Yes, good idea. A plan. You think of one while uh, I scout ahead. What? You're the knight? That's stupid. Uh, well, uh, a, a plan won't do us any good if uh, if the beholder surprises us, now will it? Uh, uh, you make a plan, and uh, I'll make sure that it works. Yes, that, that it works. I think this guy's nuttier than a fruitcake. I can't face the beholder. Yet if I don't, my boy and I will be sent away. What am I going to do? You are going to do exactly as you're told. Revenger! You will escort those children to the Beholder as they wish, and then you will leave them there. What? I am a coward, but those children... with the Beholder? I, I can't. I won't. You will, Sir John. Coward. <laughs> Son! When you have done as I've ordered, your son will be returned to you. <coughs> Sir John, there is little time to waste. <coughs> I don't care what you guys say. I think Sir John is scared. All right. I hope your plan is ready, uh, because the Beholder uh, awaits. Let's go! He doesn't sound so scared to me, Mr. Know-it-all. Well, if you ask me... We didn't, Eric. We didn't. Come on. This place is awful. Oh, I don't see how anything can live here. Nothing does. For long, the Beholder lies just beyond this passage. Well, if it's guarding the gateway home, we have to face it. Let's go. 
Best of luck. I, I must be on my way now. Hold it a minute, sir, pal. You said you'd go with us to the Beholder. Ah. And I have. Uh, I never said I'd fight him. The rest is up to you. But, Sir John, we thought... I thought you were a brave knight. Yeah! Yes, I... I know. Come on, gang. At least he got us here. Some fearless knight. What a chicken! If he was any more chicken, he'd sprout drumsticks. Whoa! What's that? That must be the Beholder. the lowest deed I've ever done. What kind of knight am I? You are a coward, Sir John, as you have always been. A weakling and a fool. Vinger! Soon, the Beholder will defeat the young ones, and I will have their magical weapons. But my boy! What about my boy? Your son is here. <laughs> Brave boy, not at all like his father. What did he mean, father? Nothing, son. Nothing at all. Help! Help! Somebody help us! Listen, father. Someone needs our help. Timothy, wait! Come back! Help! What? Yeah. What? I hate this world. Help. First walking snails, and now an electric octopus. Presto, can't you do anything? I can't reach my hat. Father, look! It's Sir John. I thought I smelled chicken feathers. Don't worry. Father will help you. Poor kid. This is going to be a disappointing day for him. Timothy, step back. I've got work to do. I don't believe it. Neither does the beholder. Look! This quickly, Beholder! I don't get it. How did Dungeon Master think beauty could defeat the Beholder? That's it! The flower! Sir John! The flower I gave you! Show the Beholder the flower! The flower? Where's the flower? Aha! The doorway's closing! Oh, what about Uni? She doesn't belong in our world. She'll have to stay with Sir John. Hurry! But I don't want to leave her here with anybody. Not even him! Hank! Look! Venger! You have disobeyed me for the first and the last time, Sir John. Stay close to me, Timothy. He's using my dopey shield to fight Venger. Ah, oh. Hank, what can we do? Boy, I can almost taste those hamburgers. Huh? Hey, what are you guys waiting for? Come on! And now, to be rid of you, Sir John. <laughs> Once and for all. <laughs> So easy after all, Venger. Yeah! Watch this. This is called a rescue, Venger. <laughs> a rescue? I don't believe what I'm seeing. I don't believe what I'm doing. But now what? Wow, that was great. But how did 
you... I didn't! But then who did? What happened? How can we ever thank you? Well, why don't we just call it even, Sir John? thought you were scared, Sir John. All right, all right, so I was wrong. Come on, Eric, admit it. Even you were scared. Me? Nothing doing. It takes a lot more than the beholder to scare me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again, Cavalier. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Fox kids, fox kids, fox kids, fox kids.